Uh, I'm Ann Gray, and I'm a member of the board of the Essex Community Historic Society, and we're here today for a celebration of Armed Forces Day and to honor our military past and present. So I'm here, with, have here with me Dave Keenan, who uh, served in Vietnam. Yeah. And so Dave, um, what branch did you serve in? I was in uh, Army Field Artillery, uh, was my primary branch and uh, I served in the Central Highlands of Vietnam. Okay, and uh, do you want to tell us what your rank was? I, I got out of the, well, I, while I was in Vietnam, I was a first lieutenant. Uh, I retired from the Army, retired in quotes, uh, about a year and a half after I got back from Vietnam, and uh, re I was a captain at that time. So what years were you in the Army? I was in the Army from, I graduated from UVM, uh, got a commission through the ROTC program, and I graduated in 1968, and then I went to Vietnam in 1970, and got out of the Army in 1972. So did you serve in active duty before you went to Vietnam? Yes, I was at Fort Knox, Kentucky, uh, as a, a part of the 3rd Battalion, 3rd Artillery uh, at Fort Knox and then uh, went from there to Vietnam and then when I got back from Vietnam I went to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I was a battery commander in the 2nd of the 17th Field Artillery at, in uh, Fort Sill and then uh, uh, got out of the Army and came home. Okay. So do you have any special memories or special stories that you would like to share about your service? Well, I think from, from Vietnam, the most memorable part that I had, or memorable time that I had, was I had the opportunity through connections that I had where I was assigned, I had the opportunity to go out and stand on the deck of the battleship New Jersey. I was, I was in field artillery, and I was talking with a naval officer who, was, who I was attached with uh, and suggested that uh, I couldn't understand how uh, they could fire the guns so accurately from a moving platform. And he asked me if I would like to go out and watch the New Jersey shoot. And of course, I couldn't turn that down. I spent one evening uh, part of which I, I was right next, I was standing right next to turret number two of a 16 inch gun turret and watched them fire one gun at a time at concrete emplacements which were about 20 miles inland. Um, and the one thing that stands out from that night was uh, the huge concussion of one 16-inch gun from a battleship. Uh, I can't imagine standing there with, when they fire all three guns from one turret. But uh, it was one gun at a time that was shooting and, and they had a, on one of the targets they had, they had a direct hit on the second shell. Uh, it was an interesting process to watch from an artillery gun standpoint because the shells are so much bigger than what we were using. The 2,600 pound shell uh, and they were shooting at ranges of 20 to 25 miles. So it was quite an experience and I'll never forget it. Yeah. So it sounds like there was a lot of noise when these shells were going off. Uh, so did, did they wear ear protection? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But it was the, the the concussion of that gun going off so close by was just uh, me, uh, huge, mm -hmm. very uh, very loud. So, did anything particularly special about the the New Jersey, or what? Just the fact that you were uh, on it, but did it see, you know, did it see action in World War Two or Korea yes, maybe did. as well as Vietnam? Yes, uh, the New Jersey was in World War Two. It was in Korea and Vietnam. Um, I have not visited the New Jersey since, but I did visit her, her sister ship, the Wisconsin, which is, uh, in, which is now a museum in Norfolk, Virginia. 
Uh, I took my wife down to see that about uh, four or five years ago and uh, got the chance to walk on the deck of the sister ship, which is exact duplicate of the New, Jer of the New Jersey. And the New Jersey was the only, I believe it was the only battleship that was uh, in in commission at that time, yeah. uh, at the time of the Vietnam War. Yeah. So I know, obviously she did not sink because she was in the other wars, but was she part of the battleship uh, role on, at Pearl Harbor? No. 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 Uh, the New Jersey was commissioned after Pearl Harbor, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that was, that's my, that's my, Biggest memory from Vietnam. Yeah. Is the New Jersey still in service? No, it is not. It has now uh, been, uh, I think it's in Philadelphia. Um, I, I may be wrong on that, but it is now out of service uh, and is a museum as well. Okay. So anything else you'd like to tell us about your service or well, I, uh, friendships you made or anything? It's, this is open. This is your stage. You can tell us what you'd okay. like. From, as now that the war is over, uh, I can honestly say that we probably should not have gotten into it. But I, I volunteered for service by going through ROTC at UVM uh, because I felt it was the right thing to do. Uh, I, I still believe that the, the government of the United States, uh, anybody who lives in the United States should serve it in some respect. Uh, and mine was through military service because I have military service in my family's history. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that military service from your family members. My dad was a, uh, retired as a lieutenant commander, in, or pardon me, a commander in the U.S. Navy. Uh, he was a medical officer and during my early childhood, we were in, we were stationed at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, uh, during the Korean War. Um, his father was uh, served during the, the First World War. Uh, so I was the third generation. My son uh, put in five years in the uh, Air Na uh, Army National Guard while he was living here in Vermont. So I'm pretty sure that your dad provided service to the Essex community oh, in yes. another way. You want to oh, tell yeah. us about that? Yeah, my dad was a doctor in Essex Junction, except for during the Korean War, but he, he, we moved to Essex Junction in 1951, and he retired in the, the uh, late 1960s and uh, retired in, here in Essex. And uh, he and my mom are both buried in the, the cemetery in Windsor, Connecticut, uh, Windsor, Vermont, pardon me. Uh, Windsor, Vermont was the uh, hometown of my mom and where my ancestors on her side of the family are buried. Okay. All right. So I think that's about it with this young okay. man. And we thank you for taking the time to well, share some of your memories. My pleasure indeed.